Hey everyone, so we are in the all new 2024 Mazda CX-90 plug-in hybrid and I just want to give you a brief overview of the four different driving modes. We're going to start with the default normal mode that the vehicle is in when you start it up initially. This is what your gauge cluster is going to look like. You can see on the left we have the charge and power display. So you can see how much energy you're drawing or how much energy you are charging from your regenerative braking, a traditional analog speedometer, then your two fuel gauges and two temperature gauges on the side. You have the battery on the left, the fuel on the right, the battery temperature on the top, the coolant temperature on the bottom. This, In this mode, the vehicle will operate as a hybrid. Um, so it'll use the gasoline engine when it's needed, or it'll just be an EV mode when it's not needed, or they'll work together when more power is needed. Pushing this MI drive, which is Mazda Intelligent Drive forward into sport mode, you will get a new gauge cluster with red animations, and this is one of the two views where you have an actual tachometer. You can change gears manually with these paddles here. It has an eight speed automatic transmission. Um, I really like this mode because it gives you the best performance. The CX-90 plug-in hybrid actually has the exact same zero to 60 time according to Mazda as the higher output Turbo S model. So this is the best one for power and performance um, if you would like those in equal measure. And same thing with sport mode, you can have it always be in the eye active sense mode. It just changes everything red so you can keep a closer eye on everything. I like the more traditional analog layout. You can force it into EV mode. You can use EV mode at all operating speeds. Um, in EV mode, you'll be using the electric motor. It's 173 horsepower and 199 pound-feet of torque. Um, it does have enough power to get this um, large vehicle up to speed and it'll operate at a highway speed, which is really nice. And um, beyond that, we have off-road mode, which will prioritize the all-wheel drive system. And you get a little bit more rugged kind of look there and a big compass. And your other option for that is, again, the iActive drive mode. In off-road mode, it'll break the wheels a little bit to give you kind of a limited slip effect, so you'll have a little bit better chance of getting the vehicle out of a tricky situation. So that was a quick look at your four driving modes in the Mazda CX-90.